Today we will be taking a look at the Laguna 1412 Bandsaw. Part number MBA ND1412-175. To start out, I'm gonna talk about a couple of the features I really like about the Laguna 1412 bandsaw. First is the overall build quality. Right out of the package, once you get the base assembled and the saw on its stand, you can really tell it is a solid machine, nice cast iron table, it has cast iron wheels for the blade to run on, and for the price point of this saw, it really can't be beat quality-wise. Another feature I really like is it is only 110 volt, so you don't have to have 220 in your shop to run it, but it still has enough power to get the material through the machine and it resaws up to 12 inches. The saw does feature a 1 and 3 quarter horsepower motor and it's 14 amps. So you can run it on a 15 or 20 amp circuit in your shop and you won't trip breakers. The machine has a pyramid shaped frame which really helps the sturdiness of the machine and a nice heavy duty cast iron table which measures 21 inches by 16 inches so a nice oversized table for your material to sit on. Another nice feature about this saw is the heavy duty aluminum fence that comes with the saw. You can mount it vertically like this, so if you're resawing pieces, you can move it and it'll keep it nice and sturdy if you're using taller pieces, or you can slide this off, turn on its side, and have a low profile fence if you're feeding smaller material through. The oversized trunnions are very sturdy and support large and heavy stock with no problem. This machine does feature two heavy cast iron wheels that the blade runs on. If you look here, you can open it up and see nice cast wheels on the inside. There are two viewing windows on the machine. One on the front that lets you track the blade when you switch it out to make sure it's centered on the wheel. And the other on the side that lets you see the, the tension gauge. The height adjustment is super easy on this saw. There's a knob on the side that you twist to loosen up. And this knob raises and lowers it on a nice rack and pinion system so it's super smooth, goes up and down, and stays in line and you don't have to adjust your guides if you want to adjust the height. Another thing I really like about this saw is the height of the actual table. It is 38 inches off the ground so it's a very comfortable height. When you are working you're able to feed material through, you don't have to stay hunched over. It is a nice, very workable height. The saw does have a 13 and 5 eighths throat depth from the blade to the back of the saw. Another thing I really like about the saw is the ceramic guides. They are very smooth and very easily adjustable. Front and back and the two guides on the side. Just loosen them up, get them where you need them, tighten them down, and they will stay in place. The ceramic guides are on the top and on the bottom. And a lot of people using the saw will have dust collection in their shop and there's a four inch dust board here on the side. You see this red cover here helps with the dust and underneath on the bottom wheel there is a brush that helps knock the dust off the blade and it'll go down into the four inch dust board. There are a few optional accessories for the saw. There is an optional wheel kit that mounts easily to the front and back of your saw that allows you to lift your saw up with one foot and roll your saw around when needed to move around your shop, drop it around, and you're ready to start cutting. Another optional accessory a lot of people like to get is the light that mounts up here. So you're able to mount it in these four holes at the top, and there is a plug on the back of your saw that you plug it right into your saw so you don't need a separate power supply for your light. It allows you to shine down right on your work so you can see a lot better. Now that we've talked about the features of the saw, let's actually see it cut. And with that, that'll conclude our look at the Laguna 1412 bandsaw. Available at neighbortools.com or BISLagunatools.com.